Hi everybody, it's Rebecca Virginia, and today I have three farmhouse home decor DIYs to share with you. Let's get started with the first DIY. The first piece of farmhouse decor actually uses a salt and pepper shaker. Here are the other supplies that you'll need to make this DIY. I started off with this small wood sign that I got from the Dollar Tree during Christmas time. Actually, after Christmas time, a good tip is to go after the holidays because they usually have holiday decor signs and all of that, two for a dollar, which is a really great deal. But they do sell these all year round. The sayings will just differ a little bit depending on the season or holiday. Then I got some of this white shiplap paper from Hobby Lobby. I get this when they have them on sale for 50 cents. And this is going to be the background in our wood decor piece. So I'm just cutting that out. And I just took a regular jot glue stick to adhere this down into our wood decor piece. And I did it the horizontal way. So it looked a little bit more like shiplap rather than wood paneling. And then I just pressed that down with my fingers to make sure it stayed in place. Next, I am taking a set of salt and pepper shakers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I really liked the cute shape of these little glass containers and I thought that they would be perfect to use for crafting. So I took one of them and then some of my white Waverly chalk paint and I painted the entire salt shaker. And then I went in with a stippling brush that I got from the Crafter Square section and some brown paint to distress our decor piece. To add a little bit more of a feminine or a delicate touch to this DIY, I took some lace ribbon that I had and hot glued it to the salt shaker and wrapped it all the way around. Then I went in with some jute and I wrapped some jute all around the top area where those ridges are of the salt shaker. And I did add in some hot glue every few times I went around the salt shaker just because the ridges were kind of pushing the jute all in one place. And I also thought that maybe there was a little something missing on the salt shaker, so I went ahead and made a jute bow and just hot glue that to the front. To fill up my salt shaker floral base, I took some florals from the Dollar Tree. These were some lavender sprigs, and I ended up going with three of them and just placing them down into my salt shaker. You could hot glue them, but I just stuck them in. For the saying on our decor piece, you can go with some letter stickers or even saying stickers from the Dollar Tree. I ended up just using some scrap vinyl that I had laying around. It worked great for this project. And then I hot glued my vase into the little shadow box and my farmhouse decor was complete. This DIY really shows you that you can use almost anything in a DIY, even something that is usually found in the food section. Today's video is a special farmhouse collab with one of my dearest friends here on YouTube, Teresa B. DIY. When I first started my channel, she became one of my first YouTube friends and she has been so helpful to my YouTube journey and so amazing. I can't believe it took us this long to do a collab, but please head on over to her channel. She does amazing DIYs and hauls. I will have her Instagram and her YouTube channel linked below so you guys can all go over and subscribe and check her out. Now let's get back to the DIYs. I was really inspired by the florals and coloring of my first DIY, so I continued on with the purpley blue trend in this next DIY. Here's everything that you'll need to recreate this. I got this gorgeous tin at my local thrift store for only 98 cents, so I thought it worked perfect in making a Dollar Tree DIY. I loved the galvanized look of this tin, but I tried to decoupage on it and you just couldn't really see anything. So I took all of it off, took the napkin off, took off the Mod Podge, and tried again with first painting it white. So I painted the entire tin white. I used Waverly chalk paint. Then I took these gorgeous napkins and just fussy cut around the flowers, and I'm going to be using these all along the bottom part of our tin. I got these napkins for 98 cents at and that. But I know the Dollar Tree has some really pretty summer napkins out right now too, so you might be able to find something there. Now to start decoupaging this down, I wanted to work with a smaller area, so I cut it in half, and then I'm taking my Mod Podge. I have to make sure I say that right. I always say Mod Podge, and it is Mod Podge, but it's hard when the words just get <laughs> kind of strung together. 
but what I did is apply a little bit of that down first, then place the napkin on top, and then went over it with the Mod Podge. And I like to work with smaller sections rather than one huge piece. You'll see me cut this massive piece in a little bit because it's just easier to work with. The napkin gets less wrinkled. I find when you're working with a really large space, it can get wrinkled and maybe a little bit askew, it doesn't go perfectly in a straight line. So it's just easier to work with a smaller piece. I also fussy cut out some pieces of the actual hydrangeas, some larger pieces that were on the napkin, and I placed three of those kind of sporadically just on the front of our floral vase. I wanted something to kind of break up the stark whiteness of the vase, so I tried lace at first but didn't really like how that looked, so I ended up using some white rickrack, and I just placed that all around the indentation. These purple flowers, I thought they were lavender, but the tag said something else, some name with an A, but I thought they were so beautiful when I saw them in the Dollar Tree. I know they aren't hydrangeas like in the napkin, but I thought it worked together really well, so I went ahead and put those down into our vase. Hi everyone, I hope that you are enjoying the video so far. I just wanted to remind you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss out on a future video. I post videos every Thursday. I have some more really fun collabs and different themed videos to close out the summer. And then come end of August, September, I will move into my fall DIYs. Next up, we have a piece of farmhouse decor using a shower ring from the Dollar Tree. Here are the other supplies that you'll need to make this DIY. These easels used to be hard to find, but lately, every single time that I go to the Dollar Tree, they are always fully stocked in the crafter square section, so that makes me happy. I think that they're just a staple now at the Dollar Tree. I'm using this for our DIY and all of the areas that are wood finish, I'm going to take my Waverly white chalk paint and just paint it all white. I originally thought about just painting the actual easel and then I realized it was a dry erase easel. I've seen dry erase easels, chalk easels, and actual canvas easels at the Dollar Tree. And I think I thought this one was canvas for some reason, but it was not, it was dry erase. So I ended up using some Mod Podge as well as some scrapbooking paper from Hobby Lobby. And as the centerpiece on our decor piece, we are going to be using a shower ring. I got these plastic ones from the Dollar Tree. I think you got like six or eight in a pack. You got a good amount for only a dollar. And I added a little bit of Mod Podge around it and then some Spanish moss. I ended up going in with hot glue after this too. The Mod Podge worked, but it was just a lot faster to work with when I just used hot glue to put down the Spanish moss. Then I used some more Dollar Tree florals to kind of enhance our little wreath. So I took these small white flowers and then I took the little purple sprigs to add a bit of color into our wreath. The Dollar Tree always has really beautiful florals. I think 99% of the florals that I use in videos come from the Dollar Tree. So I highly recommend checking out Dollar Tree for your florals before you go and spend a lot of money at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Then I just centered the wreath into the middle of our easel and took some hot glue and hot glued it down. I wanted a little more embellishment on the wreath. So I took some raffia that I had actually left over from fall, even though I see that the Dollar Tree has already brought it back out. And then I just made a small bow at the top of our wreath and hot glue that down. Lastly, I have a free printable that I wanted to share with all of you. It's more of just a free printable, not really a DIY. Although I did make this frame in one of my Valentine's Day videos. I made it out of two Dollar Tree frames. They are the faux wood frames from the Dollar Tree. They came out at the beginning of 2021, but they've had them all year long. And I ended up using a miter saw just to kind of create this multi-dimensional look. And then I ended up just painting it white with some chalk paint. So I will go ahead and link that above if you wanted to make the frame. Otherwise, I will be sure to link this really beautiful It Is Well With My Soul principle down in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, keep searching, keep creating.